wanted to uh, have a look at this uh, Emerald outboard that came with the boat. Uh, I have no idea of its history. I think I mentioned that in a previous video, um, with the exception of the fact that it spent some time down at uh, the Mount, uh, Papamoa. Um, so I've got no engine hours or any history on it at all. Um, I don't think it's ever too late to start recording engine hours on, a, on an outboard, certainly for your own benefit, knowing in terms of uh, how much use it's had and uh, any services, servicing that needs to be done on it. So I'm looking to install a engine hour meter, uh, which you can buy online very cheaply. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they work, but I'll, I'm going to have a bit of a go and uh, I'll share my findings with you as I go along. Alright, so the first thing to note about this engine hour meter is from what I can tell is it's got an induction pickup. It doesn't appear to need any actual wiring to any part of the uh, boat at all, um, apart from wiring it around one of the um, spark leads, the ignition leads. So I will um, go and look on the outboard, as you can see here, and I need to find a sensible place to put this which will be reasonably dry, well completely dry, uh, reasonably uh, free of vibration and reasonably free of heat. And I had a bit of a look around on this outboard before and I identified that this box here, which has got some internal wiring inside of it, looks like a great candidate to wire it on. It's reasonably flush. Um, it's you know reasonably solidly put there, but because it's plastic, it's got a bit of uh, vibration insulation just by default. Um, and it's a simple service as well. So you can actually see here, I have actually done a, a test fitment already, uh, drilled some holes and had a look in terms of how that'll go. So that looks like a good spot. So I'll start taking this apart and um, putting it in there and we can have a look. Okay, so I was going to look at this panel here, which looks like it'll be a good spot. It's got, oh, let's get it focused, it's a reasonable panel to mount it on and it's just got some fuse holders there or some clips holding the, some of the electrics together. So it feels like a pretty good place to put it. So I'm going to uh, get the actual uh, the meter and install that on here and um, we'll have a look in terms of uh, some of the cabling as well. Alright, so this is the engine hour meter, um, bought online for not very much at all. Um, interestingly, the back of it has got a induction based hookup as well, so you're basically going to be running a piece of wire that just runs along inside this and then I've already wrapped it around the uh, uh, around the um, spark plug lead as well and used a cable tie to pass, pass it through there. It says five goes round, which I've done, uh, and then you actually run uh, that last piece, uh, run that last piece round until it connects back up so it's all in one, one hit. And then I've bundled this up as well, and then this is just going to pass through the back, the back of this unit, so it'll wind up looking like looking like this being pushed in there. So this is completely sealed. Uh, I assume it's got a battery in it that says this lasts for a lifetime, whatever that means. Maybe it gets some um, extra charge from induction um, from the switch, but certainly it's not having to do too much work other than keep this display lit um, and then have some sort of timing or counter based on what's firing here. But it must be a, an actual timer because obviously it doesn't know how many cylinders, so it doesn't really know how frequently that'll be sparking and the revs and so forth. So. Um, I've been having a bit of a go with this, I've, obviously it's working, it's done 5.4 hours so far, so it's definitely working, um, but I'll show you how I mount that up um, and we'll go from there. Alright, so I just wanted to show it all fully connected up, so this is now running uh, running through here, uh, it's just being passed through, sorry struggling with focus here, it's being passed through, there's no actual needing to be wired in, it's just sitting in there. Being, uh, doing some type of induction pickup and then I've just combined all this together with a cable tie and then that's running up to the, the spark lead. So the next thing is to mount this unit up here, which I will do, and then we should be ready to go. Alright, so that is now mounted nicely on this bracket, almost like it was supposed to be there. Um, one thing that I did notice was on the back the screws came through a bit and they were obviously sharp. And I didn't particularly want that vibrating and eating away on these uh, switches at all. So I ground those down with the Dremel, so they're pretty. They are not. They are now flat, even though they still protrude a little bit. But there's still plenty of room here, so I've just covered them as well. Um, and yeah, these have actually been covered for a while, and they still haven't resulted in any um, rubbing off. So I think this shows this isn't really touching at all, which is uh, pretty handy. Um, so next next job is to obviously put this back in. There's a, a screw to attach on the, the back corner here. And uh, then the engine hour meter is installed. 
All right, so that's job done. We've got the engine hour installed. I've just run these uh, underneath the telltale here, so that's cool. So that's not really going to do any issues with heating. And then obviously we've got the uh, the wiring itself still running here. I have been using it. Uh, as you can see, we are reporting, if I get it right, 5.4 um, hours. So it's all working exactly as you think it would um, for the price, easy job, and pretty reliable so far. So a good one there. We've now got a reasonably uh, you know, reasonably old outboard that's got an electric engine hour meter built onto it, so easy for moving forward. Um, I'll put a link to where I bought it in the uh, show notes so you can make sure that you get the uh, the same, the exact same one. But uh, this was the uh, packaging for it, just so that everybody could see it. Um, there seem to be a whole lot of these uh, online, and they all have slightly different packaging, but the actual product itself looks identical. So easy job, and uh, it's working well.